technique of breastfeeding begins with what is called proper latching. Latching is when the newborn attaches itself to the mother's breast. Now, what are the points in latching? Now, this is also an exam question. Usually, you'll be asked, what is proper latching, even in the viva? The proper latching implies the mother should be in sitting position. Baby's head should be in the crook of the mother's elbow. Baby's mouth is wide open. The mother's nipple and areola are in the baby's suck. Baby's lower lip is turned outward. And the suck is slow and deep with the cheeks getting full and then the baby is swallowing the milk. Now, this is a picture where you see proper latch. Now, see in this picture, you can see that the baby's lip, the part of the mother's nipple, whole of the nipple, part of the areola is inside the baby's mouth. You can see the lower lip of the baby. The lower lip of the baby is turned outward. I'll just put an arrow towards it. You see the lower lip of the baby is turned outwards and the cheeks are full just before the swallow of the milk. This is proper and adequate latch. The nose is not blocked and the baby is held in the crook of the mother's elbow. This is the mother's hand. The head of the baby is in this elbow of the mother. So this is proper and adequate latching of the baby. Now proper breastfeeding technique. Now watch the video carefully. Now in this video you can see that the baby's mouth is wide open, the mother's nipple and areola inside and there is proper deep sucking action of the baby's mouth wherein in fact you can even see the lower end of the lip is moist with breast milk. Now this is the proper breastfeeding technique where as I showed you in the picture before the baby is held well in the crook of the elbow. Now this position of the mother is known as the cradle position. The cradle position is where the mother holds the baby's head in the crook of that elbow. That is the cradle position, which is what this mother is demonstrated here. This is the most common and most comfortable position for breastfeeding in most newborns. The other position what we know is called the cross cradle position. Now, what is cross cradle? Cross cradle is when the other hand of the mother, that is if the baby is feeding on the right breast, the mother's left hand holds the baby's head while the right hand is able to depress her breast so that it does not block the baby's nose. This is called the cross cradle position. Many mothers find the cross cradle position also very comfortable, especially in the initial neonatal period. The third position which is very common is called the football position. Now the football position is commonly used in post cesarean section mothers. Now in the post cesarean section mothers, the pain of the cesarean section is present over the abdomen. So holding the weight of the baby on top of that cesarean area is painful and this again inhibits breastfeeding. Hence the football position is where the baby's body is by the side of the mother and the head is held towards the breast. The body of the baby hangs on the side of the mother and not in front of the mother. That is the football position. There are few other positions described in certain books called the side lying position and the prone position. But however, these positions are not recommended routinely. So of these, the three main common positions which are described are the cradle, cross cradle and football position. There are few other positions called the side lying position and the prone where the baby is held prone on the mother's breast. But however, these positions are not standardly recommended. It is only these three positions that I have described which are the commonly recommended positions for adequate breastfeeding and proper latching and sucking. Now once the breast milk has been expressed in that bottle and stored and rewarmed for baby use if required, I have specified that this expressed breast milk should not be fed using bottle. In fact, what we should use is the pallada feeding or the spoon feeding. The pallada is a modified spoon which helps to prevent aerophagia in the baby because a spoon has a maximum volume of 5 ml to 10 ml. Bigger than that, spoons are unable to hold. However, we have paladas which are modified spoons with long beaks like what I showed you for the breast milk collection which can hold up to 20 to 30 ml. These spoons prevent aerophagia or the swallowing of air in the baby and infantile colic. Here I will show you a video as to how the expressed breast milk should be appropriately and adequately fed using a palada positioning the baby in the manner as shown in this video. 
okay now in this video you can see that the baby's head is held upright and the mature milk the color is brilliant white the mature milk is fed to the side of the baby's mouth using the neck of the pallida this way the baby sucks at the neck of the pallida automatically drinking the milk this pallida feeding is what is advocated for all express breast milk and bottle feeding is discouraged so this is the technique of correct pallida feeding of newborn which can be sustained whenever the mother is going to work <music>